One thing I really enjoy now that it's football season are nachos. And nachos are one of those things, it's, it's a little finicky. If you try working with traditional cheeses, you either have to use one of these processed cheeses to get the really good textures, or you wind up with working with a number of different cheeses and maybe cream cheese to kind of get the texture you want. And I never get it quite the way I want it to, and it never feels right. It always feels kind of heavy because it's just so much cheese you're putting in it. So I'm gonna try an alternative to it. I'm gonna make a, I'll call it a vegetarian cheese. It was gonna be a vegan cheese, but I'm looking in my fridge and I realized I don't have any um, vegan uh, substitutes for milk. So I'm gonna use a splash of milk in it, but I'm gonna use a 1% uh, milk, so not, not very much of it. Mainly it's gonna be nut-based. So let's give it a try. Let's see how it comes out. Hopefully it comes out pretty good and I'll find a good alternative that I can use for making really good nachos in a nacho cheese sauce. All right, to make this, we're gonna make it with cashews and carrots and potatoes are gonna be the primary ingredients. So first we're gonna take the cashews and we're gonna soak them. These are unroasted cashews, so they're raw. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup of them in about two cups of water to just let them get soft. That makes them really nice and easy to use. You can get a sort of a cream sauce going, but it's a nut cream sauce instead of a, a cream. Next, I'm gonna take up about two small Yukon Gold potatoes and about two small carrots and just go ahead and boil them until they're soft. When they're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the food processor and just get ready to process that up with the other ingredients I'm gonna put in here. Next, I'm gonna add my cashews, which have now had time to soften because they were softening for the whole time I was cooking the potatoes, so, you know, 20 minutes or so, and they're nice and soft and they're ready to use. So I'll get those in here. I'm gonna leave the water behind. I don't think I need it, but if I needed it, I could always put it in. Next up, I'm, a, I'm going to add a cup of milk. If I had some other sort of nut milk on hand, I would probably use that instead, but since I didn't have it, I'll just use traditional milk. I'm gonna use a uh, tablespoon of olive oil just to give it a little uh, creaminess too, about a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm gonna start spicing this up. I'm gonna add some things to it to give it a little color, a little texture, and a little flavor. I'm gonna use a smoked paprika to get a little bit more smokiness to it so it tastes, got a little depth of flavor and tastes a little bit more like it's uh, kind of smoked. I'll use some garlic powder to give it a little bit of uh, flavor that way. And then I'm gonna add some turmeric. And the turmeric adds a little bit of flavor and also gives it a color so that it actually looks a little bit more like a cheese. So it'll be a little bit orangey in that sense where that'll be kind of nice and it'll kind of give the appearance of looking like cheese. So once I've got these all together, the only other thing I wanna add is some lemon juice. Now I had some of this bottled lemon juice I'm gonna use. It doesn't taste particularly lemony, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of lemon juice in here to give it a little flavor. I think next time I might use a little bit of lemon instead of lemon this uh, bottled lemon juice, but I think it'll work okay for this recipe. So now that I've got everything in there, it's time to go ahead and blend it up. So I'm gonna put the food processor on and just start mixing it. I'll mix it for a couple of minutes and see how it comes out. We'll see what it looks like. It should start to smooth out a little bit as it's going. Now I notice as I'm looking at it, it smells great, but it looks a little chunky. So I'm gonna to have to process it some more. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some green chilies in there. You know, what's a nacho cheese sauce without some green chili? So I'll add those in to give it a little bit more flavor and a little more uh, oomph in that sense where it tastes a little bit more like nacho cheese sauce because it's got chilies in it. So we'll get those in there. It's just a little can of green chilies and uh, we'll put the lid back on and process it up just a little bit more to see if we can get just a little bit more softness to it, uh, make it a little bit smoother from where it was. So we'll go for a couple of minutes and yes, it definitely looks smoother, but it still doesn't look quite right. It's still got a little too much texture for my taste. And I don't think the food processor is going to get it done. So I'm gonna take it out and put it in a different dish. You can see it's still a little chunky in some ways. And I'm gonna use the uh, immersion blender, the stand mixer, to actually go in there and mix it up a little bit more and make it a little bit softer. Now you can see that it actually starting to look a little bit like you know a, a cheese sauce. It has that sort of texture to it. You can see it kind of dripping off the end of the uh, immersion blender there. And it's actually pretty cool. And it's starting to look a little better and a little better and it's starting to look more like cheese sauce. And I'm like, wow, this is really working. I think this is actually pretty neat. When I saw this coming together, I thought that was really, really cool. So now I start to see something that looks like you know something you might see as a queso. It's that got that sort of texture to it. And now comes the real test. We're gonna finish it off and we're gonna see what it looks like and what it tastes like. All right, I made about two cups worth of it, um, give or take, and uh, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in and give it a try here. Let's see how this came out. Hmm. Texture's good, flavor's good. 
Does it taste exactly like um, some kind of, you know, nacho cheese or some kind of cheese spread? Not exactly, but it is pretty good. It's a nice uh, substitute for queso, I think. I would do that again. The flavor is certainly right. The color is right. The texture is about right. That'll be something I'll be eating. Hmm. I'll enjoy some football with this. This is pretty good. Hmm. All right. It doesn't feel too heavy either. It's kind of nice.